Okay. So for the next drug on our list, we'll be talking about what? Onapristone. Pharmacology of Onapristone. Okay. So for this drug, um, we said that what? Uh, we we'll talk about it under the mechanism of action, its pharmacokinetics, its clinical uses, its side effects. And I think that will be all in understanding everything that you need to know about the drug. We said that onapristone, um, also known by its developmental code, that's what, ZK8929 or ZK299, is a synthetic and a steroidal anti -progest, uh, progestogen. Okay, that actually has an additional or anti glucocorticoid activity. So, for mechanism of action, um, it is a progesterone receptor antagonist. So, this onapristone acts as a silent antagonist of the what progesterone receptor. So, it's basically like repair is it repair or just like to counter its action okay so it actually inhibits this progesterone receptor activation and also the associated expression of what progesterone res responsive genes okay so it can actually inhibit progesterone mediated proliferative effects in cancer cells over expressing the progesterone receptor okay also as an anti-glucocorticoid activity so it is also um, it has an anti-glucocorticoid activity, although to, an, to a lesser extent when compared to what mifepristone. So for pharmacokinetics, this onapristone is orally available, bioavailable. It is metabolized in the liver via cytochrome P450 enzymes. The drug is excreted primarily in urine and feces. The half-life specific data on the half-life is not really documented like that. For clinical uses, it's used to treat what prostate cancer, breast cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancers. Okay. For side effects, common side effects include uh, liver function abnormalities, were observed in a majority of patients during clinical trials, and serious side effects. There's a potential for severe liver injury. Okay, for this drug. So for dosage, um, it was developed as an oral medication. Uh, the specific dosing information is not well documented as the drug is still in phase 3 of clinical trials, okay? So it's not really available yet, okay? So just talking about the, pharmac uh, the pharmacology before time. So that's it, guys, for this.